temperatures drop to below freezing as they have this week in Arkansas. Most of us scurry to the grocery store, adjust the thermostat, and maybe sip on some hot chocolate. But for the homeless in Arkansas, they don't have that opportunity. They're very lucky if they can find some long sleeves and a warm meal. But this time, there is hope for those homeless facing hardships. Little Rock City leaders created an emergency warming center as soon as they heard of the dangerously low temperatures heading our way. This has been created because of the cold weather, but truthfully, what we have an opportunity now is to see how many actual street people there are in the downtown area. Now, the truth is, if you look around here, there are some of these folks that have come from the surrounding uh, areas of the city, but the bulk of these folks are staying in the downtown area. For people who may usually sleep on a hard, cold bench, the cots are a sweet escape. The Nathaniel Hill Complex on the east side of town is housing the shelter, opening their doors to anyone who has nowhere else to go. Urgent preparations began Wednesday morning asking for volunteers, supplies, and donations. The temporary facility will be open until Monday, but Mayor Mark Stodola says that time could be extended if the temperatures remain a threat. Jerry Anders is one man taking advantage of the shelter. I worry about everybody that's out there, including myself, worrying if we're going to be safe, if we're going to be warm. And it's just a real blessing that this was available. We don't know all the answers, but we're interested, and I think if we all come together, we surely, a goodness, can figure out some long-term solutions as to what to do in this situation. One of the issues is, is housing. What are we going to do to help find these people more permanent housing? Until the answer to that question is found, the staff at the center just want the guests to feel comfortable and safe. Streets are dark, lonely, and cold. This place offers light, friendly faces, food, and support. I'm here to help people who are homeless, who have no place to go, who are cold and just need a kind, warming, helping hand. Been there many years ago in the 70s myself. I've been homeless, so I know what it is to not have anything, not just clothing, material stuff, but people who care about you as well. So that's why I'm here. Unlike the cold temperatures, these people can't check their misfortunes at the door. Health, the health issues. This gentleman behind us over here, who um, who's got a foot, who, who probably very likely, if something doesn't change, he could lose his foot over here. Um, that's sad. The the physical, the the mental health issues. That's sad to see that kind of thing, and then just see the despair. That's that's sad. Just the despair. Despair. The state these people live in every day of the year, looking for a light a beacon of hope, and a place to call home. In Little Rock, for Sync Weekly, I'm Lauren Clark.